our resident Wing Dragon of Raw expert hath returned. But this time, it's a pure Wing Dragon of Raw deck. Hi, Wing Dragon of Raw. How are you doing? You you ready? You see them? You see them? We gotta put on the show. We gotta body them. Not not you guys. Those guys. Now, I've made a couple Wing Dragon of Raw videos in my past, you know, maybe maybe one or two, but I've never done something like this where it is pure Wing Dragon of Raw. I'm talking, I'm running three Immortal Phoenixes. I'm running three Immortal Phoenixes in this deck, whereas normally I would only run one uh, because I'd be scared to draw it and it's a brick. But I realized I had so many cards that can discard from my hand to the graveyard, like Forbidden Droplet, uh, Millennium Revelation, one for one, et cetera, et cetera. So this makes it way more likely that we actually get to play the Immortal Phoenix pretty consistently. Consistently. And then obviously we have my golden balls in the deck. You can't have a Winged Dragon of Raw deck without some golden balls. And basically we just went all in on the Winged Dragon of Raw support. Look at the deck if you care about that stuff. But if you don't and just want to see me send people to the Shadow Realm, then let's just do that. Otherwise, I don't know, press pause and look at the deck list. But I'm leaving now. All right, don't laugh, don't laugh, stop. Stop looking at my rank. Hey, 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 stop, stop. I'm blocking it, I'm blocking it, you can't see it. Um, I'm silver because I haven't been playing rank that much. We're going second. We are going second because with Wing Dragon of Raw, you need the OTK. What is an OTK? An OTK. What is an OTK? A one turn kill. That means if I get one turn, I win. Going second. One turn to attack. This is not the greatest of hands. <laughs> this is not the greatest of hands, but I will simply top deck something immaculate that's why we're going second by the way you see this see this see this pink outline around my name that means i've been diamond before okay now if you're new here i don't want you to be like oh he's the silver rank i just haven't been playing ranked all right back to the duel uh this guy played yellow gadget so uh, what are we what are we dealing with some machines some infinite track infinite track very weak starting play from our opponent but again we are in silver uh, a little embarrassing to be here. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just let it get away from me. I didn't know the new season was starting so soon. We will start by playing Crystal Girl. Why do we run Crystal Girl? Because once Crystal Girl is played, I can grab my Guardian Slime from my deck and add it to the hand at the end phase. That's why it's not here yet. And with that in mind, I'm gonna play Mound of the Bound now because that's gonna be important to keep our Guardian Slime alive. We'll throw down our Called By throw down forbidden droplet crystal girl transforms into link Reba. all right we both had some riveting turns sarcasm intended and i end my turn by the way good lord there's a lot of you guys who aren't subscribed did you know my goal is one million if you don't think i'm horrendous or even if you do think i'm horrendous if you think i'm decent at the game who cares why? Just subscribe, please. I want a million. That's the goal by the end of the year. And by goal, I mean promise. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. You're going to want to be here for it. It's going to be a crazy party. It's going to be a crazy party. You're going to want to be here. Just saying. Just saying. Silver Gadget. I could stop this, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm a little concerned because I'm almost positive he has Ash Blossom in his hand. Uh, the reason I think that is because... When I played my Crystal Girl earlier, there was something he was able to activate. Now, it could have just been his face down card here, but I have a feeling it could also be Ash Blossom in his hand. See what he attacks with first. He's going with the weakest first. Um, let's do some math here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We say no to that one. I'm going to hope he attacks with the 1500 one next, but it's not a big deal either way. Attack with 1500 next. Yeah, there you go. The reason why this is good, it's just less damage. Uh, because regardless, his next, after, you know, his next attack, I bring out Guardian Slime. Guardian Slime protects me. Uh, because now he's not going to be able to attack through my Guardian Slime. Look how big his hands, hold on. Hey, look how big his hands are. That motherfucker said, all right, he attacks. You fool, Guardian Slime matches his defense to your attack. You can't destroy him. He can only do that once per turn. So that's why, you know. I had to activate it when I activated it. The beauty of him having Ash Blossom in his hand, I'm calling it, by the way. I He doesn't. I was a fool. He will simply perish. I call forth my Egyptian God Slime with a bolstering 3,000 attack that you don't have to worry about for long because he won't be here. Ganani, what can you activate? What does he have? Smart move would be Blaze Cannon to make my raw unaffected. I'm grabbing Blaze Cannon. We're ending this duel right now, ladies and fellowsmen, because I banish my ancient Chan. Now, when Ra is summoned, I gain the combined total of the attack of the monsters that I tribute, which will be 3,000. 
unless I do this. But there's no point. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary roughness. I'll activate Crystal Girl for unnecessary roughness. Activate. And out of concern that there could potentially be a Nibiru, I'm simply going to end this game now. I'm not going to go for too many theatrics. I tribute my Egyptian god slime to call forth my beast, the Winged Dragon of Ra! Come forth, my beast! With a base of 3,000 attack, but I activate his effect to boost him up to 9,400. And then, goodbye. I will send you to the shadows, gents. <laughs> you couldn't just take the hit? You couldn't just take the hit. That's it. Using top of the line quality studios with the most advanced technology and the highest budget, I'm going to have my editor put together an animation of Raw destroying my opponent. I must say, what a fine day for walking. I'll just go over here. This weather is exquisite. What? What's that noise? Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, God damn! Stop, please! Please! No, don't! No, no. ah! ah! All right, our next opponents. The beauty of running decks that like to go second is everybody makes you go second. I play Cubics. I, I want to go second. So whether I win the coin toss or not, I usually get to go second. Same with Wing Dragon of Raw. That's why it's good to find you a deck that's good at going second. And you have the benefit of if your hand sucks, then you can just draw into the next, you know, into the next card. You get one extra card. Now, do you have to deal with Omni Negates and stuff like that sometimes? Yeah. But when you have two golden balls in your deck, <laughs> I actually run three, three, three golden. Yeah. Then you're less scared about Omni Negates because even though I don't have Sphere Mode in my hand right now, I believe in the heart of the cards and I will simply draw into one next turn. I'm not worried at all. He just special summoned from his deck? Awakening of the Possessed. Gaga Gigo Bite. Hey! Hey, that's my soul crossing! Ooh, you just helped me draw a card. You fool. I'll make you regret this, you freak. All right, this is an interesting deck. He's playing Charmers? I don't I don't really know what they do for real. But we drew into one of our Immortal Phoenixes. Now, normally, this would be a problem. But due to the fact that we run so many cards that can discard from our hand and give us other benefits... We should be just fine. All right, he's special summoning. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I can't stop it. I don't know why I said go ahead. Not like I could stop it anyway, but go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see it. I don't know what these guys do, though. Ooh, he gets rid of Mound. Ooh, and I missed timing. That sucks. I would have been able to grab an Egyptian god. Are you done? Are you done? Are you, are you finished or are you done? I play my Millennium Revelation. Once activated, I can discard one Divine Beast monster from my hand. Throw it to the graveyard. Goodbye, Immortal Phoenix. And I will pick up my monster bone. What I will do is play my crystal girl. During my end phase, I can add a level 10 aqua into my hand, which will obviously be my guardian slime. But also, crystal girl is a level one. I can tribute one of those for relinquish anima. And you placed yourself in the wrong spot, my brethren, because I will steal your card. This is mine now. This is mine now. It doesn't belong to you anymore. Uh, and then I will... I could Mostari Bon. I could Mostari Bon for real, for real. Was this special summoned? I got to remember. That was special summoned. Why is that important? Oh, but then I'd have to discard this. Oh, no. But I could basically clear his board right now is what I'm trying to say. All right. I might as well use my Monstery Born because I can get another one pretty easily and just keep reusing Monstery Born. All right. Let's just bring out this one. Put it here. I'm going to set this and we're just going to kind of like play a little response game. And it's fine because we're going to grab a uh, guardian slime, add it to the hand from our crystal girls effect. I, I, I respect him for using something different. It's not just a generic, typical, I eat glue, sword soul player slash runic player slash <laughs> you monster. Actually, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh no, he used Raigeki. It's gonna be my Raigeki soon, brother. Oh no, he's gonna do so much damage. God, man, why are you special summoning from your deck all the time, man? Return one card, ooh. Because what would he return? He's gonna return one of these. So I think I need a reply to this now. I'll activate it, I'll activate it. Let's throw away our Millennium Revelation, unfortunately. 
hate to do it but it's not like i have a god card in my hand right now so it's not useful and we will negate that we can't risk him sending this to my hand because this card will be important it's called dark spell regeneration for a reason that's all i gotta say i activate dark spell regeneration what does this do it takes your spell from your graveyard and sets it to my field it's my raigeki now go through with your attack that's fine because that activates my guardian slime bringing him out onto the field you can't destroy it this turn not by battle at least if he ends his turn right here we win i think we win here's how i dare you crystal girl to the field activate crystal girl can't do anything that means he doesn't have ash blossom raigeki blow up his field beautiful oh damn i forgot he gets he gets they they just go to his hand right he just from your deck to your hand okay and then this one from your deck to your to your hand okay as long as it's not special summoning anything this game is over. All of the pieces are in play. I tribute Guardian Slime for Egyptian God Slime. Once Guardian Slime is sent to the graveyard, I can grab any card that is a Winged Dragon of Ra support card. Yes, I will grab the Ancient Chant. Oh, great beast from the sky, please hear my cry. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. I skip some stuff. Um, unlock your bower from deep within so that together we may win the Winged Dragon of Ra. His base attack. 3,000 plus my life points, putting me at just enough to send you to the shadows. Go! Quick, 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 quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. The pure winged dragon of raw deck is ferocious. All right, I'm back. You'll notice I'm in a different shirt. Uh, this is actually the next day I realized I didn't summon the immortal phoenix, and that, uh, was unacceptable all right so that's what we're gonna try to do in this last duel we have to we have three mortal phoenixes in our deck there's no chance we go this whole video without summoning it one time i actually am not mad at this starting hand and it looks like we're up against a cyber dragon player and we're making them go first which cyber dragon players hate i will play ancient chant <gasps> oh great beast from the sky please hear my cry so i will have to keep this simple i'm gonna go into link Rebo, and uh then i'm just going to attack you i'm gonna punch you in the face 300 you better watch out i mean business link Rebo got link Rebo got that look in his face editor put put like angry eyebrows on link Rebo so you can show how angry he is yep he's ready attack directly that's 300 coming your way Ooh, I know that stings. I know that stings. I know you're regretting ever stepping up to the plate against the likes of moi. I will end my turn. Thoughts? Oh, and I get my guardian slime. Regular ass cyber dragon. Play one more card. Play one more card. Let me see your normal summon. What normal summon do you have to show me? Because if you show me a normal summon, I will proceed to end. Actually, I'm okay with this. Got to be careful with how I play this out. Special summon one cyber dragon from your hand or graveyard. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. All that tells me is that regardless of what I get rid of, he can bring it back. My main concern is if he brings out uh, this card called Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. I'm pretty sure that card has an effect where it could blow up my back row. So I'm going to make the executive decision to bring out the winged dragon of raw right now. Actually, to be safe, Maybe I go sphere mode. I might go sphere mode. I mean, I could scare him. I could spook him. It is the more Merrick-like play. I'm going to go raw. I'm going in raw, guys. What? Tribute, tribute, tribute. The winged dragon of raw. And I'm just going to go all in. I'm just going to go all in. I'm only comfortable giving all my life points to this thing because my sun god unification is a contingency plan. Repair plan. Add one light, okay, from your deck to your hand. Mm. <laughs> all right we're gonna use this now <laughs> he just grabbed the kaiju monster in case you haven't i always explain just for the people who don't play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. kaiju monsters can tribute my monsters to summon themselves so i gotta get rid of my monster now okay so i'm gonna tribute my raw and uh gain the life points for it all right we're back at eight thousand life points <laughs> oh that was scary that was scary i could not afford to let him uh hide you over my raw man and then leave my life points dwindling oh you're using this now he's getting rid of my sun god unification okay it served its purpose it did its job i'm a little worried though because after soul crossing is played it has like some fine print until the end of the next turn after this card resolves you can only activate one card or effect oh, damn. i'm gonna have to hope he doesn't have any crazy plays here bro how many cyber emergency has he he's had all three cyber emergencies holy crap man Ooh 
a lot of damage. The, the only positive is I don't think he knows I have Guardian Slime in my hand. I mean, he might remember. He might remember because uh, I definitely added it to my hand with Crystal Girl, one of them at least. Dang, he can negate my Guardian Slime though. I'm gonna try to activate it. Guardian Slime. He can negate and then destroy it. All right, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. The reason why it's not the end of the world is because I believe I still get Guardian Slime's effect in the graveyard. Yep. Okay, so we can't negate this one. Uh, I guess I grab uh, Millennium Revelation. Revelation will be able to get my Immortal Phoenix into the graveyard. Damn, I wish he played just one more monster. One, He's one monster away from, from me being happy. You can only activate one Guardian Slime per turn. So we're in trouble. Uphill battle. And he can negate Millennium Revelation with this guy. All right, I'm going to have to try to bait him out. Ooh, okay. Maybe that can. It's obvious bait, but I'm, I, I have to try it. I have to try it. But I'm going to hope he... Damn, he let it go through. Damn, you're not as stupid as you look. Some more obvious bait. Use it. Just use it. Just negate it. Just negate it. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The bait has been received. The fish is on the line, ladies and fellas. Now, the true card I wanted to activate can be activated free of charge. We're going to send away my Immortal Phoenix. Grab Monster Reborn. Oh, yeah. The play is the play is in session. And we have Raw in our graveyard already. So we can get the Immortal Phoenix plays off right now. I just have to make sure I don't misplay. Okay. I believe I'm okay with doing this. We're going to grab Guardian Slime. That's step one. Guardian Slime hits the field. <gasps> oh, boom. And then Guardian Slime is tributed for Egyptian God Slime. Egyptian uh, Guardian Slime. Effect activates. I can grab any Winged Dragon of Raw support card from my deck and add it to the hand. I grab Ancient Chant. I play Ancient Chant. And I grab a Winged Dragon of Raw. Actually, I didn't even need to do all this because I already have Sphere Mode. So I could just go... Sphere Mode's the better play because then I can be base 4,000. Yeah, I'm going to go Sphere Mode. Boom. So my Winged Dragon of Raw's base attack will be 4,000. Boom. And then we'll just pop this. I'm going to play this smart. I'm going to get rid of this now. Next turn, I bring out the Immortal Phoenix, okay? Because remember, he has a Kaiju. He has a Kaiju. He thinks that's his ace in the hole. I remember he has a Kaiju. So he's going to get rid of my Winged Dragon of Raw. But he's not prepared for what's about to happen to him if and when he does that. He does it. My Winged Dragon of Raw has been sent to the graveyard, activating my Winged Dragon of Raw Immortal Phoenix. You in trouble now. This beast of a god card is unaffected by all card effects. Every last one of them. But what I am concerned about <laughs> is what scary cyber dragon he might bring out that could utilize the kaiju. Cyber dragon Nova. Okay. Okay. So it's going to gain. Oh, he's going to special summon. Okay. I saw the future! Editor, play back when I use Called by the Grave as bait. Ooh, okay. It's obvious bait, but I'm, I have to try it. Damn, he let it go through. And got rid of his Cyber Dragon Nova. I didn't know that it was gonna come in handy, but it came in handy. Now what will you do? Yeah, it's unaffected. You didn't read. This is a god. Surrender the duel. You can't target my immortal Phoenix. You lost the game. You can't touch this. This is a god. A god. Oh, he's thinking hard. Oh, he's thinking hard. Look at that little dragon mate. Uh, boss, what do we do now? And then my guy over here like, damn, y'all getting cooked for real. Y'all getting cooked. Editor, put put their logo, put this Prody logo with the, you know, the little icon in this fire. And, you know, let's just, let's just cook. Let's just cook. Hey, nanny. What are you up to? Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. That's almost scary. Except it's not in the base of a god. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing now? Verte Anaconda. Oh, he's he's surrendering. There's nothing. There's nothing this thing can do. Wait, I think he's. I know what he's doing. He's going to banish cards in his graveyard, which he has a lot. And he's going to make the biggest cyber dragon in the world. But that's only how many cards? That's only four cards. 
Oh, it's just Chimera then. Never mind. What are you gonna do? Get oh no, not my Millennium Revelation that I don't need at all anymore. I'm talking a lot of trash, and I don't know what his actual strategy is. Yeah, he doesn't have one. Once you once you use this effect on Verte Anaconda, you you know you know there's nothing left. Question is, does he just crash? Why? Why? Does he not know that my card's gonna go away end phase? <laughs> you moron! He still had a chance. I mean, not really, but my card would have gone away at the end phase. And then it would have brought out a sphere mode and then I would have just recycled another raw, except I think I was out of Winged Dragon Ross. Nevertheless, the Immortal Phoenix was summoned. Did I earn your subscription? My goal is 1 million. Help me achieve this goal. I'll see you there. Wow!